during the Pharrell Williams GQ video, I glossed over the fact that this is like a real big thing that they're going to be pushing. And so I have several videos <laughs> on deck right now because this is just bananas. And we're starting off with this one, Hannah Gatsby on why men should be more ladylike. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it, okay, wait a second. Hold up. I'm assuming this is Hannah Gatsby because I don't know this person at all. But shouldn't you be more ladylike? Because, yeah, you're dressed like a dude. <sighs> Let's get into it. Hannah Gatsby's stand-up special, Nanette, was the most discussed comedy act of the Me Too movement. Really? Rooted in the personal trauma of homophobic violence, it used sharp humor to proffer a devastating critique of misogyny. She's now touring with a new show, Douglas, that hit Netflix next year. That'll hit Netflix next year. Okay, I ain't watching that shit. GQ asked her what she'd like to see more men understand and do. Dude! You're dressed like a dude. You you clearly try to project masculinity, but you're like, oh, dudes should be more ladylike. You know what? You know what, Jay? You're 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 getting a you're getting ahead of yourself, sir. <sighs> yeah, let's welcome to GQ's new bullshit. Let's go. Hello, the men. My advice on modern masculinity would be to look at all those traits you believe are feminine and interrogate why you're so obsessed with being the opposite. We're not obsessed with it. It's just how we are naturally, biologically. Because this idea that to be a man, you have to be the furthest away from being a woman that you possibly can be is really weird. No, we are born that way, darling. When you are born with your Y chromosome, you are as far away from as a woman could be and exactly why. It, it, what you want to talk about weird? I'm just going to leave it right here for a second. You want to talk about weird? Which one of us is weird here? Okay. <laughs> like, seriously, it's really weird. <laughs> Why are you so obsessed with being like a man? Why is everyone so scared of not being masculine? It's not fear. We're just guys. That's how we get down. If you consider many of those in power, those who claim to be leading the world at the moment, you've got a lot of hyper-masculine man babies with terrible hair and no ability to compromise. They're, these are the cool guys who are talking, to, taking us all to hell in a handbasket they didn't pay for. So, just so we're clear this uh individual believes that you know uh, trump because that's who she's getting at let's be real that's who she's getting at oh trump's a man baby when what what do you even qualify as okay <laughs> screw your pronouns i don't give a shit oh my goodness this is ridiculous <clears throat> So here's a thought experiment. What if you, the men, looked to traditional feminine traits and tried incorporating them into your masculine? No, no, because then we are not, we're no longer men. We are men that want to be women. That That's the fastest way to become transgender now, isn't it? <laughs> women are always being encouraged to stir masculine traits into their feminine recipe. Who does this? You know what? Actually, she's right. Women are encouraged to do this. And yeah, you've been wrong this entire time. So exactly why would we see that and try to emulate it? And, and those of us of our right mind, those guys out there who's like, oh, I'm like the Malik Yobas of the world. Yeah. You know what? By all means, they can do them, but don't sit here and try to speak on behalf of heterosexual cisgendered um, men. Nah, dead that. We are told to be bold, to be bolder, speak up in meetings, exaggerate your skills. Yeah, because you guys sit there and cry and complain all the damn time about, oh, I'm not being listened to. And yeah, speak up. I mean, shoot. All that lean in sort of crap. So perhaps it's time for you, the men, to be more ladylike. No. How about you scale back in your confidence? No. Hell no. Why would I lower myself? Why would I lower myself to make you feel better? It's just ridiculous. There's no, there is no logic in any of this. How about you try not to act and try not to act in every situation? No, because that's how we're biologically wired. We are wired to act. If we see something going on, we are wired to, to go and take care of it and not just sit there and complain about it and talk, you know, behind, underneath our breaths. That's not how we are. Our, that's not how our brains function. What if you try to refrain from sharing your opinions or co-opting other people's ideas? Well, I guess we could. You, you guys see my channel. That you know how that works. How about yielding to people walking in the opposite direction? No. Or even just attempting to see them. Why? 
<laughs> How about you try pretending that you're the least powerful person in any room? Hell no. And that no matter how hard you work, you'll never be the most powerful. You know what? Nah, nah. If I'm in a room full of women, I'm totally the most powerful, all right? No, you know, chairs and, and, and refrigerators don't move themselves. Walk around like that for a couple of weeks and then call your mother. My mother just passed. So, yeah, we're, we're done with that one. This is the first time that straight white cis men have been forced to think of themselves as anything other than human neutral. What? <laughs> what kind of language is this? And that must be a difficult thing. I'm, I'm sorry, white guys. Yeah, she, she's clearly not talking about me because I'm a POC. <laughs> hate that term and i don't say that to be sarcastic no you say it to be stupid i can see how it is a tough spot it is not your fault you didn't build this mess you were born into it like the rest of us what i'm saying is i have empathy for you i don't want your empathy lady honestly and empathy by the way is one of the traits that women are most famous for keep it you might know it by its other name, weakness. I, no one's sitting here, no, nope, you're the one that's drawing that power well between weakness and empathy. What we're saying is just that, mm, not our problem. Not, you know, we got bigger, we got bigger fish to fry. I'm not even gonna lie. But don't be fooled, empathy is a superpower. And it's, you know, okay, yeah, seriously, empathy can uh, leap tall buildings at a single bound. <laughs> and it's the only one that any human has to offer. As told to, okay, oh my goodness. Okay, so that's the end of it. As told to Nora Kaplan Bricker. Um, <sighs> no, 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 no. Uh-uh, that's not happening. Deal is, is that you are trying to project a lot of masculine energy. We're not the ones, at least us, um, uh, us right-minded uh, men of purpose. We are not the ones that's sitting here talking about, oh yeah, I wasn't in, born in the right body. I'm not saying that she says that, but you can clearly see the penis envy just all over this chick, man. Like she really thinks she's a dude. And no, you're one of the most dangerous people in the world. And the fact that GQ went to, went to a chick that wants to be a dude about how dudes should be more like chicks is honestly... Honestly, I, I, don't, I don't think I have the capacity to wrap my brain around the thought process or the decision making in, in, in putting this on your website and in your magazine, GQ. This makes absolutely no sense. But I think it's really safe to say that GQ is no longer for men. And I have at least two more videos that, I mean, they, they sit here tossing out these softballs. So I'm going to just knock them on out the park, okay? So with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you liked it, you know what to do. If you dislike it, go ahead. I ain't scared of you. Sub if you enjoy. Hold up real quick. If you dislike my videos, I would love to see comments because I, I'm seeing, oh, I've gotten some videos that have gotten dislikes, but there's no comments. And it's like, well, if you didn't like it, please explain to me why. Um, Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to get videos like this every single day. Share because sharing is caring. And YouTube and bitch you. Come on. Come on, let's be real. They don't like me. And speak. Let me know what do you think in the comments. Uh, what sense does it make to take a woman that's trying to be a man and then have her tell men that they should be more like women? This is some mind blown stuff going on right now. <laughs> but let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next one.